Here I have a file that uh, have done all the routing, all the necessary routing. So next step is to apply finishing. So here I'm going to show you how to apply a parallel uh, parallel surface milling. So I I will go just highlight this and I will apply template. So you can download the template from the website. And so let's say I will use a zero degree parallel finish. Okay. So this function is this one. Uh, it is the surface milling, finish milling all. And over here, the main difference is that to uh, two trajectory. So over here, you can choose uh, whether you want to have a parallel cut or spiral cut or layer cut or heavy curve cut. A lot of different uh, cutting strategies. So now we just look at the parallel cut. And of course, the, the cutting mode, uh, whether you want a climbing or conventional or mix. Uh, if you choose climbing, that means the cutter will cut only one direction, so they will, they will be a lot of jump. Uh, you can try later. So normally for this, we use a mix so that the cutter can go towards and backward without any jumping. And this is of course a, a horizontal step of the of the cutting, the pitching, and milling at angle. So I'm putting angle zero now. Okay? And just calculate. And here's the result. As you can see, uh the surface milling uh, is not good for those uh, 90 degree wall. We are cutting zero degree. Those 90 degree wall, the pitching is very big. So this is not good. Okay. Uh, some of you might uh, try to change the angle, right? To 45, for example. Let me change to 45. 45. And let's change the parameters. The angle to 45. And calculate. Okay, here's the result. If you choose uh, 45, of course, uh, most of the areas is, is okay. Uh, only at those area minus 45, a small area that you need to uh, touch up, still need to touch up, but the amount is not that uh, much. Uh, this is 45 degree. One thing regarding 45 degree. Uh, let me pause and show you the Z code. Okay, so if you machine 45 degree, that means your machine will move X, Y, and Z three axes at the same time. Okay, three axes at the same time. So uh, this will uh, making the cycle time slower because uh, it is slower to move uh, to three axes at the same time, and of course the accuracy is not uh, uh, on the machine wise is is uh, compared to two axis movement. Three axis is not that good, and the main thing it is slower if you move three axis. Okay, and so let's say now uh, instead of uh, moving three axes together, so I just now I, I've done the zero degree, so now I'm going to uh, go for 90 degree, 90, 90 degree angles. So let's change parameters again to 90 and calculate. This, this is a result. So if I choose 90 degree, that means the, the zero degree wall, the finishing will not be uh, so nice. So we need to touch up this area. So compared to 45 degrees, of course, the, this, this one, the machine is either zero to 90 degree. The machine will move, move faster because the only two axis is moving. Let me show you the code. There you are. 
only two axes is moving. Okay, y z y z y z y z two axes is moving. So the machine will move faster and more accurate. Okay. So how about this one? Let's say now I want I decide that I'm going to use 90 degree the machine this uh, part, but I have a uh, zero degree wall. I need to touch up. Okay. In Simatron, there's uh, one function that can uh, allow you to touch up this area automatically. So the function is vertical area machine. I'm going to uh, load the template, apply template. Let's choose the parallel finish clean up 90 degree. Okay. So the this function is is what this function is a surface mirroring the vertical area. The vertical area is under the literacy uh, procedure vertical area. Okay. This is a. Uh, uh, Old function, but it is a quite quite good function to use. And the thing that you might need to change is, is the surface approach, or probably change the tangent uh, with the radius. And other things that you are looking at is the, of course, the step overs, how many mm you want to cut, and using an angle zero. Okay. So just now for parallel finish, parallel finish, I'm milling at an angle 90 degree. That means uh, for the vertical area clean up, okay. The direction that I need to clean up is those zero degree uh, wall, okay. Ninety degree difference. So I'm I'm going to clean zero degree wall and slope limit, okay. So I'm going to machine from uh, up to forty degree regions, okay, of zero degree wall. And pull up and down, then just calculate. So now you can see here. Okay, this vertical area process will automatically search all the zero degree wall and cut until a region of 40 degree. Okay, you can use a navigator to check. Yeah. So this is the uh, parallel finish strategy.